Hey, what's up guys? If you watched the videos on the wireless weather station, you know that I had a issue getting a cheap TFT LCD to work. So, we got a different one here that we're going to give it a try. And as you can see, this one comes with a miniature CD that has all the libraries and software and should be much more reliable. Now the cheap one I bought I think I paid around seven dollars for. This one was sixteen dollars and if it works well then it oh, lovely look at that look at that pin I just love it when things arrive damaged. Especially when I'm paying a premium for them. It should be alright. Let's uh, zoom in here. Let's see if we can get a read on those chips. Nah, I can't see it. But let's see. At least everything is labeled. So, so far, so good. Of course, the downside to this is that this is a, uh, a shield which is going to take. every pin in the Arduino but I think we have some ways around that so let's go take a look at what's provided on the CD and then we'll hook this thing up and hopefully it will work all right we are looking at the files provided on the CD and we have some folders here Arduino demo data sheet module size pick TFT drivers, user manual, and note before study. So let's take a look. Note before study appears to just be a little thank you. User manual. HTML document. Okay. Let's see what we got here. in a PDF. Huh. Okay. That's good. We've got pinouts. Explanation of Arduino code. Yeah, really not much going on there. Alright, next we have TFT drivers. init LCD okay interesting pick no oh, just some images Module size. Oh, that's nice. A CAD drawing. Oh, this is very nice. I'm uh, quite pleased with all the extras they've added here. Data sheets. Uh, two data sheets. One for the uh, ILI 9341. One for the AMS 1117. We know demos. Read before using this module. Okay. And it includes libraries. 
how we look at that Adafruit GFX and the Adafruit TFT libraries. Very interesting. Very interesting. Then we just have some Arduino sketches. All righty. Well, the, I, I'm suitably impressed that they included all this on a disk for us. I would have never expected that. All right, moving on. All righty, I installed the drivers from the CD to my Arduino libraries folder. And I have opened up the simple text display string test. I haven't made any other changes, so let's send it and see what we get. Alrighty, it looks like we've got a working LCD. As you can see, it's actually reading the driver this time. So, so far, so good. Currently uploading the graphics test. And it appears to be working. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Yeah. I, I'm pretty happy with this so far. Let's see if we can give uh, something from the touch screen a try. All right, this is the paint example, and you can see it's using the Adafruit graphics library, the Adafruit TFT LCD library, and the touchscreen.h. So let's send that while we look at this. Info about the Mega. Interesting. Driver info. So far, it looks pretty good. Let's see what happens when it uploads. We are uploading the paint sketch. I've got my stylus here. Let's see what we get. How about some yellow? Hey, that's all right. I'm impressed. This is pretty cool. All right, this time we are going to run the graphics test sketch on a Mega. So we say board. Mega. And our port is COM3. And let's send it. Yeah, it seems to be working out quite well. So here is the graphics test sketch running on the Mega. Everything seems to be running very well. And of course, the upside of using this with the Mega is that we have pins available. 
which is very nice. So now I understand there to be some difficulties in running the touch screen with the Mega because the SPI bus is on different pins. So one last thing to try is to see if we can make that work too. Okay, the sketch loaded, no problem. Let's see. Yeah. No issues whatsoever. So the libraries and the sketches work just fine on both the Uno and the Mega. Well, I'll tell you what, this seems like a fantastic LCD screen for our projects. I forgot to silence my phone, sorry about that. So we will get more into this screen in future videos. This was just a kind of how to set it up. If you like this, please give me the old thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time.